the major natural regions of the world. The Earth is the only planet known to be supporting life in our solar system. Its climate is responsible for the evolution of various types of plants and animals on and near its surface. Temperature was the basis for man's earlier study of the planet that he lives on. On this basis, he had broadly divided the Earth's surface into three climatic zones. 1. The hot tropical zone, B. The warm temperate zone, and C. The cold polar zone. Temperature, rainfall, and soil play a critical role in the distribution of natural vegetation. Nearness of sea therefore exerts a lot of influence on the climate of any region, leading to its description as either coastal or continental. Thus considering the latitude and proximity to sea, the world has been divided into a number of nearly identical climatic zones called as the natural regions of the world. A natural region may be defined as an area on the Earth's surface where a similarity may be observed in respect of climate, landforms and natural vegetation, which in turn brings out a similarity in the mode of living of man. The world may be broadly divided on the above basis into the following natural regions. 1. The equatorial region. 2. The tropical hot deserts. 3. The tropical grasslands. 4. The monsoon region. 5. The Mediterranean type. 6. The temperate deserts. 7. The China type. 8. The marine west coast region. 9. The temperate grasslands. 10. The Laurentian type. 11. The subarctic or taiga region. 12. The tundra region. 13. The polar ice cap region. The equatorial region the equatorial region also known as the rainy tropics where the annual amount of rainfall is the highest contains the world's densest forests and many primitive tribes live in them a belt of low pressure called the doldrums or the belt of equatorial calms encircle the earth near the equator this natural region offers the most favorable conditions for the most rapid plant growth on the Earth's surface and naturally contains the world's densest forest called as selvas. The tropical or hot deserts. Deserts are those areas on the Earth's surface which are characterized by the scarcity of water and hence are largely uncultivated. Deserts have extreme climates. The world's highest temperature was recorded at Azizia in Libya in the Sahara Desert in Africa. The steep valley in the deserts are called the Vadis and the flat bottom temporary lakes the Playas. Desert vegetation consists of xerophytes which are well adapted to the prevailing harsh climates. Animal life in these deserts is very much limited in number and well adapted to the environment. Most of the desert dwellers are either farmers or pastoral nomads, depending upon the quantity of water available. The savanna are the tropical grassland regions. This natural region is characterized by a season of rain followed by a season of drought. This region lies on the poleward margins of the equatorial region. In this region, temperature is uniformly high, frost is absent, humidity is low, rainfall is unreliable and strong, hot, dry and dusty winds blow from the bordering hot deserts. In this region, Mount Waialila, Kauai Island, Hawaii has won the record of being the wettest place in the world. The gradual decrease in the distribution of rainfall between the rainy tropics and the hot deserts is clearly reflected by the nature of distribution of natural vegetation, which gradually transformed from thick jungles on the equator world margins to the low bush tall grass and finally to shorter grass on the desert margins. 
The native animal life includes large number of wide variety of both the herbivores and carnivores besides insects, monkeys, snakes, lizards. The hippopotami and birds which migrate to sources of water during the season of drought and return with the return of rains. Except for the island nations of the West Indies and a few African nations, large areas of this natural region are yet to be occupied by man for setting up of permanent settlements. The Temperate Grasslands Scanty rainfall results in large areas being converted into grasslands, wherein grass is the primary source of grazing, the basic activity. These semi-arid regions display extremes of heat and cold. Humidity is low and rainfall in these regions is low, irregular and undependable. The landscape is characterized by extensive and flat continental plains. The Monsoon Lands The word monsoon was coined from an Arabic root mosum, which means season. In this region, the year may be divided into seasons namely the summer, the winter and the rainy seasons. The temperature is highest just before the beginning of the rainy season. Mosindram and Chirapunji both located in Northeast India are the second and third wettest places in the world respectively. The distribution of natural vegetation is influenced by the distribution of rainfall. However, monsoon deciduous forests are the typical type of natural vegetation and take wood is the most valuable type of tree. The native animal life includes the elephants, the tigers, the king cobra and in Australia the kangaroos beside many other types. More than 25% of global population lives in the South and Southeast Asian countries. However, most of the monsoon, Australia is largely a sparsely populated area. The Mediterranean region The Mediterranean region are also known as the dry summer subtropics. These regions are well known for their pleasant climate, famous tourist centers, well-developed agricultural, rich history, culture and civilization. The Taiga region The Taiga lands, also known as the subarctic, contain a huge belt of coniferous forest. These evergreen forests appear interminable and contain numerous swamps, bogs, lakes, rivers and streams. The Tundra Region The tundra or the barren lands are the cold desert separated from the poles by a permanent ice cover. Location The tundra lands are mostly confined to the northern hemisphere roughly extending between the Arctic Circle and the permanent ice cap region. These regions include the poleward margins of North America and Canada and the coast of Greenland and the Arctic Islands in significantly small and fragmented areas also occur along the coast of Antarctica.